Welcome back to Juniper Highlands. In this video, I'm going to show you how I reinforce the walls and install some windows. Earth bag walls are held together using several different strategies. The first one is to put uh, barbed wire between the courses. So every course I put down two strands of this heavy duty barbed wire and the weight of the bags pushing down on it keeps the bags from moving this way and that. Then after the wall reaches a certain height you start adding half inch rebar. So I'm going to hammer this section of half inch rebar down in through the bags to reinforce the wall. I've labeled all the places where I'm adding rebar so that I can remember where the rebar is when I come around for the next round. Now this rebar is four feet away from the next piece. After I build a wall of about two feet, I'll be inserting another four foot section down between them so that there will be two feet of overlap between the pieces of rebar. The rebar just goes right in the middle of the bag and I'm going to hammer it straight down through all the layers of bags. The last type of reinforcement I'm going to use for the walls is called a tie beam and it's basically just a wooden or concrete frame that sits on top of the walls. But we'll get to that in a few weeks when the time comes. Next up is windows. These are the box frames for the windows. Uh, I just added them to the wall and I'm in the process of leveling them and making sure they're positioned just right before I add the anchor points and then the next layer of bags. They're made from regular dimensional lumber from the hardware store at a cost of about $75 for these big guys, including the glass and the hardware and all of that. The windows play a really important role in the passive heating and cooling design of the building. Let me show you how that works. Passive heating and cooling is a very simple system that can keep your building cool and warm without the use of an air conditioner or a furnace. So you're using zero electricity, burning zero fossil fuels, and there's no equipment to break down on you. And the windows play a vital role in the passive heating and cooling of this building. So I've placed all of the large windows on the southern and eastern facing windows. And the reason, the reason that I did that was because those are the sides of the building that get the most sun exposure. So when the sun is low in the sky in the winter, we'll have sunlight coming through at a very low angle and it's going to light up a large portion of the earthen floor. And as the family cat knows, that's like the warmest place to hang out. And because I'm using earthen materials that have a lot of mass, the earthen floor will absorb the energy from the sunlight and then slowly release it back as heat throughout the day and even into the night. So that will keep the house warm in the winter. Now in the summer, when the sun is much higher in the sky, there'll be much less of the floor illuminated by the sun. So we'll get less of that effect. And then of course you can always just open the window and it creates an aperture for air to flow through. So I've designed this system uh, to be able to cool and heat the house without the use of any external equipment. Another thing worth noting is that I've gone ahead and pulled up the vapor barrier on the outside of the building and tucked it under this layer of bags. I'm well above ground level now, so it's a good time to pull up the vapor barrier. I'm going to backfill this with gravel and then any moisture that gets into that gravel will be separated from the earth bag wall. I've also installed this computer workstation and the framing for it is integrated with the wall. So these pieces of wood, these four spots actually go between the bags all the way through to the other side and even with just one course on top this thing is rock solid. Well thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time when we install some lintels over the windows and work on the electrical system.